G'day everyone, Matt Old of Family Bricks here, and we're just going to do a quick reaction to the Lego set Fast and Furious Dom's Charger that has just been released and dropped. And we'll just go through the video and some photos and see where we're at. And there we go, certainly very slick there, and just going back through it, they got the intercutting between the actual car from the film and then the actual Lego build itself. I'm going to approach this more from a, a casual fan of the films. I've seen most of the films, you know, good popcorn sort of thing. So interesting then to see Lego partnering with, I think it's Universal who's doing this one. Not really surprised because a couple of years ago we were in Universal Studios in Florida and they had the Fast and Furious ride there and then at the end of it they had where you can build your own car. So this would seem like the next logical step in extending the license and starting to go up with Lego who traditionally done cars very well. I think right off the bat the interesting thing for me is that it's being done in Technic which I just feel is going to limit the market a lot. Like even recently when they did the 1989 uh, Batmobile Keaton version it was still done as mostly a brick build. By doing it with Technic I think you're really going to put a lot of people off. The, the casual fans I get it from the point of view that then you can have lots of the action features and let's just see if we can go back and find some of those. So the shock absorbers, you know, doors opening and everything that should be opening, being able to drive it through there, the, the front engine turning over, that being able to pop it up and do that wheelie from the end of the first film, a lot of that might not be achievable, just normal Lego blocks. I don't know, I just feel that if they would have made it a little bit more accessible with normal Lego builds, then then certainly when you got somebody like The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, and you know, if, and if he was to tag it on his Instagram account and it goes out to his 100 billion followers, then that would seem like a natural sort of fit and a great way to be able to promote it. Certainly not locking Technic, I have a lot of Technic, I enjoy that and the builds and things. I just think you, you're going to miss out on that casual market here. Because part of the license would be going after people who are into the films and they just want something that looks like the car that they can put up on the shelf and, you know, have that talking point about being fast and furious. You could say they've done that with the Top Gear car, but for mine, the Top Gear car, you're appealing more to car enthusiasts who are going to probably be more technically minded and being able to do that. Whereas this, given the, the broad range of the cast and crew and their appeal and everything that goes along with that, I'm not sure it sits quite well there. Anyhow, I've got some other pictures of the car, which came off the Brothers Brick website, so let's have a look at those. So a nice sleek box here, the, the model front and center, a bit of motion in the background, really giving it a scene and in its environment. Just another side there, from the front on there. Okay, then we get the back and we can start to see some of the different elements, the actual car itself, and the rear shot, some of the nose tanks, lengths, popping up that wheelie, a bit more on the engine detail, another angle, and then we're starting to see more of the actual car itself. I'm not a huge car buff, so I can't tell you where things aren't looking exactly 100% like it should be, and you know this line slightly off and things like that. You can just appreciate it more for the fact that it's a really nice 1970s Charger sort of car. Another dynamic angle shot from the front there, being able to see more of that that turning Technic chain. Another side angle, and this is probably what's got me the most excited, but more from a geeky reason, is they're using these tires in here, which is a 56 by 28 ZR. Now being really geeky like, I actually have some of these tyres. The thing with these tyres is that they haven't been in too many sets and they're actually really hard to come by and quite expensive. So seeing these coming out in this set now, it's going to be great because there's going to be more of them floating around. The main reason I like these is I like to grab these Dots bracelets that they've released at the moment. And I've just got some little nano figs on there, on the little studs. But if you go through, you click it on, so it's on its last band there take the wheel itself and it slides on really nicely giving that a nice fit into there put an axle through that and that spins around 
And I've been doing a, a lot with this idea recently and I'll put a link around the video where you can start to see how you're using these and other models and things. So the fact that they're bringing out these ZR tire types, which are really hard to come by, that's awesome. I really love that idea. The shot there showing that it's launched up in that position like it's about to take off as you see in the film. Be interesting to see if that's a manual feature or if there's some sort of mechanic in there that makes that work. There you can see the side. Interesting that you've only got one car seat in there. I can't remember if the film had one or two. I would have thought it had two, but I guess just space-wise I'm trying to get everything to work. They're just showing all the different doors which are opening, which you'd expect to be. Another front section there, sort of showing a bit of the suspension. Side profile shot, another rear angle sort of shot there. Pure profile shot on the side of the car. Shot of the engine block. The Nos tanks, I'm guessing that's in the rear boot. And then just some more lifestyle type shots there, front, back, launching upwards. Nos tanks again, front, with the designer, showing how it's coming together, which sometimes these shots must really be staged because usually when you're building, you don't build half a platform like that with bits off the back, but anyhow. And then just the, the box there again. And just more details there with the full set. Allegedly it's going to be about 99 US, 99 euros. I guess that translates to about 89 pounds, which for a licensed theme of this sort of nature seems to be relatively good value. It's not too overpriced. It is kind of a weird time to be releasing it though, because you don't have another Fast and Furious film out until I think sometime next year. So whether or not they're planning to have another sort of car to go with the movie tie-in or they're testing the waters on this one I'm not really sure on that it's certainly an interesting one I guess if you're hardcore into your cars or you're a really Technic fan the price point you're probably going to pick this up as a casual fan I guess I'd be waiting for the price to come down or being able to get it on sale for me the fact that it's done in Technic I get it in terms of trying to show the action features and that but if you're having it as a display piece when you're seeing some of these holes and just the way that that Technic look it does compared to something like the 1989 Batman that they did where you can have the display piece and you're not looking at weird holes and things like that it looks like what it's meant to look like if you're trying to appeal to those sorts of fast and furious fans i think that's what you'd be wanting to do just seeing some of those aspects of the technique and the way that it sits together it's just not as clean and sleek as something when it's done in the traditional lego bricks but that could just be me what are your thoughts are you going to be looking to pick this up or is this going to be a pass let me know down in the comments below if you're interested in seeing what I'm doing with the wheels and the dots bracelets and how that's all working, there'll be a video here. Alternatively, here are some other videos that you might be interested in. That's all for us at Family Bricks. Until next time, when we talk about all things LEGO.